Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. In this particular video, um, by the way, I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this particular video, we're going to learn how to make a calculated multiple choice question. So let's take a look at our objectives before we go any further. So in this particular video, we're going to learn how to make a create a multiple choice calculated question. Um, we're gonna learn how to set up a data set for the question and we're gonna learn how to create variations of that same question through the use of the data set. So, as you can see here, I'm already logged into Moodle, and this is the second part of a series on how to make uh, questions for quizzes. So, to make questions for quizzes, you go down and off to the right hand side. Well, it depends on the type of theme that you're using in your Moodle. You're going to find a place called Question Bank, and you click on this. Doing so will take you here. Now, as you can see, there's already a question here created. This is from a previous video where we learned how to make calculated questions in general. But this time specifically, we're gonna learn how to make a calculated multiple choice question. So to do that, I click on create a new question. And you can see right here, calculated. This is the one we learned in the previous video. And this time we're learning calculated multiple choice. And so it gives you a brief description of what it is. When you've highlighted calculated multiple choice, you click add. Now, if you watched previous videos, this should all look mostly familiar to you. At the top you have the category. We haven't dealt with how to make categories yet, but every every course that is created in Moodle comes with a default category. So right now we're in the default category for this particular Moodle course. Um, of course you have to give the question a name and a text. You have to tell how many points it's worth. <coughs> so in this example here, it's gonna be worth one point. And then you can provide feedback if you want, general feedback for completing the quiz. Um, how, how many answers are, are correct in the responses. Normally you wanna have only one answer correct, but you can set it to have multiple answers, it's up to you. Also, there's a feature here called Shuffle the Choices. If you click on this, it explains how um, two different students will be sitting next to each other, but the actual choices, the, the possible answers will be, will be in different orders for them. This helps to prevent cheating if you're using um, this as a form of a serious assessment. And so underneath that, you have the different choices here where you have to put in an, an answer. Um, what is unique here for multiple choice calculated questions is that the answer is going to be the equation the student needs to use to get the answer. That's what's unique about the, um, the multiple choice for calculated questions. So why don't we go ahead and make an example so that hopefully this will make more sense for you. So I'm gonna call my, my question money addition. That's the name of my question. I'm going to put Bob has, and remember we have to use the wild cards when we're making calculated questions because within the wild card, Moodle will put different values depending on you know who's taking the question, etc. So to make wild cards, you have to use the curly braces. But I had to put the dollar sign because I'm talking about money. So Bob has um, um, original money, whatever that value is. Um, his friend Steve gives him put the dollar sign again and call this additional money. How much money does Bob have now? So that's our question. So our first wild card, we call it original money. This is the money that Bob starts with. Again, Moodle will select the value. But then his friend Steve gives him some money, and we call this second wild card additional money. That's what, we're, that's what it is. And so um, Steve starts with some money, his friend Steve gives him some money, and now the question is how much money does Bob have now? So when you make the, um, when you make the different choices, you have to set up the equation for finding the answer. So we're gonna make the first choice the correct answer. So what you do, as you already probably know is from taking math you just take original money plus additional money to get the answer so I put this right here like so this is the correct answer and so now what I need to do is I have to tell Moodle that this particular answer is worth 100 percent because this is the correct response however I'm not done yet I need to make four other choices that are wrong at to, to, to serve as distractors for the students if you're familiar with assessment. <clears throat> so for this second one, I'll just say make it subtraction. 
for the third one, I'll just make it, you know, division. Oops. Um, for the fourth one, I can make it, you know, multiplication. And for the fifth one, maybe I'll just make it exponentiated or ex an exponent. You can make the choices whatever you want. It's up to you. So those are my uh, four, my five choices. For whatever reason, as far as I know, Moodle requires you to put in five choices for the calculated multiple, multi-choice, multiple choice questions. And so now that we're done with this page, if we click save, we should be done. All right, now as you can see, we move to the next page here and it's talking about um, the data set. We have to um, create some sort of a data set from which Moodle can pull values for our two wild cards. Remember we have a wild card called original money and a wild card called additional money. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use, uh, we will use the same private, we'll use the same existing private data set as before. You've seen this in prior videos and we're not going to mess with synchronization because that's just much more complicated than is necessary in my opinion. So go to the next page. And so now we have to set up um, some information for the wild card. So uh, you can see here that our range for our original money wild card is one to 10. You can set it to whatever you want. Maybe I'll just set it to a hundred. And for our second one, or let me back up for the decimal places. We'll just put, you know, up to two decimal places if it wants, if it so desires. Um, and then for our second wild card, you know, we can put it from, let's say one to, oh, I don't know, 40. Um, it does, oops, sorry, 40. It doesn't really matter that much. And so you can see the values here. Also, it has a distribution. If you're familiar with the uniform distribution, this is from statistics. Or you can also use a um, log, log uniform distribution, which is slightly tilted to one side or the other. Okay, so we've done that. So we'll update the data set parameters. Now we need to go down and take a look at the second one, and this is the tolerance. And so the tolerance is how much, how wrong the student can be. So for this one, the student can be off by 0 0.01. Anything more than that would be considered incorrect according to the to Moodle. You could change this if you so desire. Um, and so then you can see here that for each of the potential answers, there's a different tolerance. So remember, there's up to five choices that we've used. Uh, now, down here at the bottom, we have to add items and we're going to just add 100 and then you'll see how this works again this is something that you've seen before from the prior video so i'll click add and it looks like everything is going well so the next thing we need to do is we need to preview and so to do that you can see right here we now have this little button available to us called preview i click on this and this is what it shows me so Bob has $23.25. His friend Steve gave him $25.92. How much money does Bob have now? And so the students have to determine which of these equations is the correct answer. And you know, for right now we're practicing, but um, you can see right here that you can um, find the correct answer and it gives you different information about the, the, um, the actual question. And if we press F5, the values here will change. So you can see now Bob has $83 and Steve gives him $26.49. If I press again, Bob has $13, his friend gives him $3.63, et cetera, et cetera. All these values are coming from uh, down here, the set of 100. So you can see just the first set right here. If you wanna see more of them, you just click on the next to display, display 100, and then they show you all 100 different choices down here at the bottom. So this is set 98, so $60.21, $16.42, etc. You can look at all the different combinations of answers that will appear. And so when students are taking this quiz, you'll have two students sitting next to each other. They'll have different values in the question, and then the answers will, be, will also be scrambled as well. So it makes it almost impossible to cheat as far as I'm concerned. So there you have it in this particular video. And oh, let me back up in this. So when we click save, you go back to this home page, as you can see. And you can also see that this little number in the parentheses went to two. It used to be one because now we have two questions here. 
So as you can see in this particular video, we learned how to make calculated multiple choice questions. These questions, instead of the student providing the answer, the student must select the equation that will provide the answer. That is what's unique to them. Um, when you make these, normally you have to have five choices. And like always, you have to set up the data set parameters as well as the, um, the tolerance. And you have to add the individual items. Um, so this is yet another tool that can be used by someone who is trying to find new ways to employ quizzes in Moodle. We hope that this video was useful for you, and we thank you for listening.